not again. I'm running out of potpourri. Wait, what? If I keep stubbing my toe like this, I'm going to run out of potpourri. What does stubbing your toe have to do with potpourri? Well, when I stub my toe, I put potpourri on it. Why? It makes it feel better. How do you know it's the potpourri? I tested it! I put potpourri on my foot, and then I wait, and then my foot feels better. What was your control group? <gasps> I don't have a control group. I need a control group. Where can I get a control group? Well, you need to know what happens when you don't put potpourri on your foot. So you need a group of people who stub their toes and don't use potpourri. But I don't, I don't have a whole group of people. I just have me. You could do it yourself if you stubbed your toe a whole bunch of times. Yes, that's it. Stub my toe a whole bunch of times. Could you move, please? I need this table for science! And pain. Ow! <laughs> potpourri works. When I put it on my foot, I feel better sooner. And you're sure it's not the placebo effect? No, not placebo, potpourri. <sighs> well, you've already noticed that your foot feels better even if you don't put potpourri on it. That's just your body healing itself. Yeah. But if you think your injury's being treated, you'll feel less pain. That's an example of the placebo effect. That happens whether or not the treatment actually helps your injury. So you need to do tests where you don't know what treatment you're getting. So I have to trick myself into thinking I have potpourri on my foot? Right. Usually the way people do that is by making a new treatment that looks a lot like the treatment they're testing, but they know doesn't do anything. That's called the placebo. Since you know it doesn't do anything, any improvement at all is a result of the placebo effect. So it's not enough for potpourri to have some effect. It has to have more effect than a placebo. Exactly. So you need to come up with a treatment that looks like potpourri, but you know doesn't do anything. Socks. I put socks on my feet all the time, and it doesn't fix them. But socks don't look anything like potpourri. Uh, bags. We'll cut them up, put them in bags, and then I won't know what's... Well, wait. If I put the stuff in the bags, then I know which bags have potpourri and which have the socks. That won't help. So you need to use blinding. You need to make sure the subject doesn't know what treatment they're getting. So... You'll do it. You'll put the stuff in the bags, and then put it on my foot, and I won't know. That would be single blinding. You wouldn't know what was in the bag, but I would. It's better to use double blinding, where the person applying the treatment doesn't know either. Because if I act differently while I'm applying the placebo treatment, that could affect the results of the experiment. So I fill some bags, and then I shuffle them around, and we number them, and then after the experiment's over, we can open them up and find out what was inside them. Great. Now write down your experimental protocol. Yes! difference. Potpourri doesn't do anything. Who would have guessed? Well, before it's been tested, everyone should assume potpourri doesn't heal injuries. <sighs> but what do I put on my foot now? Grass? Orange peels? Beef jerky? Rabid weasels? Just because everything needs to be tested doesn't mean you need to test everything yourself. Well, where can I find these medicines that other people have already tested? The drugstore? Great! I'm gonna go buy the best drugs ever! What is that? This is Super Extra Strength Pain Annihilator 9003. It's a drug-free, side-effect-free, all-natural dietary supplement with 17 all-natural herbs and spices. Let me see that. Oh, I thought so. Look at this small box here. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So what? 
You went to the drugstore to find medicine that had already been tested. But that statement means they didn't test it. Well, why wouldn't they test it? Well, testing medicine is expensive. And most drugs people test turn out not to actually work. Oh, that's not a problem. I'll just test it myself. No! You can't go out eating pills just to see what they do. It could be dangerous. Have some ibuprofen instead. How is this any better? I haven't tested this either. Like I said, you don't have to test everything yourself. Science isn't just about doing your own experiments. Evaluating other people's experiments is also doing science. Here are 2,533 studies on ibuprofen. That is a lot of science. It would take me forever to do that many studies. I, I would have to stub my toe so many times. That's why scientists work together. And they work together on reading the science, too. If enough experiments are done that show the same results, and enough scientists agree that those experiments were well done, that's called a consensus. And the consensus on ibuprofen is that it works and it's very safe. Well, can I at least read some of the studies? You can read as many as you want, or you can just look at the side of the bottle. Uh, well, I don't have any ulcers. I'm not taking blood thinning medication. Um, I'm not pregnant or breastfeeding. Um, sounds good. Hey, how many are you supposed to take? Two. Tastes like science. 